Our final stop on today's road trip is to an amazing art gallery that you probably have not heard about until now. Bruce Beckner has been creating most of his adult life and holds a degree in art from Alfred University. Bruce and his wife Gloria relocated to Mount Airy from Orlando and this opportunity opened the door for him to fully engage in his talent. He shares his time and gifts doing art therapy at Freedom Hill Women's Recovery Center in Demarest. From paintings, portraits, glow-in-the-dark masterpieces, let's take a visit inside Bruce Beckner's gallery and see why he is known as the Minister of the Arts. All right, we are inside the amazing art studio of Bruce Beckner. Bruce, thank you for letting us in. As you can see, there's so much to look at here. So um, I want to just get right to it. Tell us a little bit about your art. Well, most of the pictures in here, all but I think two, um, have fluorescent paint included in the painting. Um, so I call them three phase, three different light sources, because you have the regular light, which we have now. I think later we're going to see some black light. Yeah. And then you turn all the lights off. And if you want to see your pictures when you're laying in bed, or in a dark room, they glow in the dark too. And you'll be able to see all that. How'd you come up with that? What made you interested in the glow in the dark piece? Well, being a, a teenager in the 60s, uh, early 70s, fluorescent paint was a pretty cool thing, but it was all dragons and dungeons and skulls. And I thought I'd like to take that to a, a, a better level. Um, I started playing around with it in the early 2000s, middle to like about 2007. And then uh, and I was in Orlando at the time, and an art show came up honoring artists that were affected or influenced by Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol did iconic figures, mm -hmm. the Kennedys, uh, Marilyn Monroe, of course, his famous stuff. And I thought, maybe I can put the two together. Yeah. So I started doing some icons. Jimi Hendrix was one of them. Yep. Um, and I've got four pieces in that show with the fluorescent. And I've just been developing it ever since. And some of the effects I've been coming up with lately are just amazing. So. But there, there must be a special type of paint that you use to make it glow. Well, there, it's acrylics, which is what I went to school with using instead of the oils, which when I went to college, that was old school. So yeah. we got to be contemporary. So acrylics. So I use acrylic paint and glow in the dark stuff. Uh, it, it has taken some development of the techniques to not mess up the regular picture. Yeah. Because you don't want it to, ch that's what I thought would happen, and some of it you can't even tell. You the, can't. the one, the frog one here doesn't change at all in this light, but when you put the black light on it, it looks... It's a totally different, different p yeah. piece of work. Uh, so it's, it's really fun, and when I'm in here with the black light, um, I feel like a mad scientist. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's all, when you... They'll show it later, but it's all blue in here. Yeah. And it's really cool, but painting in black light is, is a really cool thing. And then you just turn the lights off and you can see what it looks like in the glow in the dark. So, so I'm seeing a lot of um, musicians, there's sports, there's religious figures. How do you come up with your subject? Um, unless I have a commission piece or a specific. Um, subject that I need to get in show I'm just doing stuff from my perspective yeah. things I liked things that I was influenced by people I admire sports heroes musicians uh, Glenn Campbell there I was a big fan of his back in the 60s you got Johnny Cash over here the Beatles of course yeah I love that one um, so it's stuff I like mm -hmm. but I'd be more than happy to do stuff somebody else likes if they want to hire me so so you do more than I mean you do portraits too do a lot of portraits um, about 30 years ago after we moved to Florida from Connecticut I started doing po portraits of uh, a lot of students mm -hmm. athletes and stuff and uh, my granddaughter uh, was was born uh, 18 years ago and uh, did her and I just love doing kids now yeah. so um, little kids I just love doing them so I do drawings I can do paintings and stuff but uh, the drawings are very nice and intimate, and several times when we lived down in Florida, I would go back to a house that I'd done, like one of them, I remember the kid was a soccer player yeah. when he was 18. I went back there 10 years later, and his portrait was still hanging really? on the wall. Oh, wow. And I'm thinking to myself, I remember doing that yeah. picture, so imagine what the parent is like. So, oh. 
So there is a little something special that uh, you told me beforehand that is in each of, of these glow-in-the-dark paintings, uh, a little uh, sprinkle of something okay. you can see. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we lived in Orlando uh, for 17 years, Florida for almost 30. Um, but when we moved to Orlando, we weren't like in the city city, but we were on the outskirts. But we never, um, occasionally we'd see a firefly. Yeah. Came up here in April of, of 19 and right away, go outside at night. I love going out at night and looking mm -hmm. at stars. Cause, uh, stars are another thing we, we didn't see much yeah. down in the city. And there's just these clusters of fireflies. So I've kind of added a, a little secret element to the pictures I've done up here mm -hmm. and added, and you can tell the ones, they have fireflies in them that yeah. you, you really are, don't really even pick up until the black light hits them and then yeah. they, they pop and then they glow in the dark afterwards. So. Yeah. All right, so uh, what you do, you do other work out in the community. Um, yes. You volunteer some of your time and your talent with um, a right. recovery center. Right, well being retired, um, I, I wanted to, do some ministry, some outreach ministry. And I went to the uh, Freedom Hill uh, fundraiser at the end of 2019, met Becky now easily, and um, they weren't, she, she was going through some things and she, they needed an art therapist. I mentioned I'd never done it before. Yeah. But I uh, volunteered to do that and I've been doing it now for a year and it's been I, I guess they're blessed by it, but it, it blesses me even yeah. more. And um, just working with these ladies and helping them th through their issues and stuff and, and hopefully making a, a big difference in their life is just, it's just fantastic. So for those who are watching who want to find out a little bit more, how can they, how can they get more information? My website is becknerart.com, mm -hmm. pretty simple. Um, right now it's only going to be by appointment. Um, it's not going to be drive-through stuff yeah. at this point, but uh, you can also call me at uh, my, my number, 321-663-8356. All right. Well, guys, if you guys are looking for a piece of art that will knock your socks off and glow in the dark, come <laughs> visit Bruce at his website, Beckner Art. And um, we appreciate you, uh, again, letting us in your studio and, and, and looking at all this. It's just amazing. It's, it's super. It's super. I'm, I'm hoping the community will embrace it and uh, see some of my stuff hanging around in businesses and yep. uh, private residents. That's what we're hoping for. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, and we will be right back.